Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get all of this unpacked, see what we got, look at the mounting bracket, and get it installed. So we got all the hardware unpacked. Uh, seems like we may have some extra hardware. We'll see what we need to do. Okay, now that uh, it's unpacked, kind of got an idea of the hardware. You larger bolts. I'm going to hold the bottom and the top rail. You tapered. I'm going to hold the center. These have to be put together where they got the, the bin folding out. And we'll put we'll put this on last. All right. We'll get uh, to assembly. Okay, I got the bottom bolt in this side and the other side of the bottom rail. This just threads in, it's larger. I put two washers on it and a lock washer. This one is your countersunk Allen heads to hold the center. 13 millimeter on the other side. I want to snug this up and then I want to put the top bar. Okay, uh, instead of snugging these up, leave them loose so you can get your top bar in place. Then put your bolt in here. And what I'm doing is putting a lock washer on, and then two washers, and threading it in. Okay, this was the big question I really didn't have an answer for. Uh, was it real clear? Um, but it appears that it will go on this way in here that's with the big side on the bottom of the frame this would connect to the side of the frame it appears to be the driver side and this one is the passenger side I'm going to work these in from the back through this hole and then line these bolts up Looking from the bottom, this is the driver's side frame. I have a hole here. I'll be able to get to the nut on the back side, so we'll put a short bolt there. And I have a long bolt that'll go through the side. Let's see if I can get where you can see it. Right there. There's a long bolt to come out and mount on this side. Okay, so I'm going to have to put my camera down, but basically I worked it in from the back side, turned it, and now I just got to line my face. Okay, on this step, I uh, put the bottom bolt in first, dropping it through the frame. I put the long bolt through. Just got a hand tight on this side, leaving me enough room to, to bolt the brush guard. Then I'll come back and tighten. I'll be able to get a wrench in the back side. And easy enough to tighten that up. Then just do the same thing on the other side. So, after installing both of these mounting brackets for the brush guard, some things to learn. I'm going to leave the lot washer off this bolt, which I put in first and hand tightened it. And once I get everything tight, I'll go back and put the lot washer on. It just didn't give me enough thread to get it started. The long bolt inserts pretty easily from that side. Everything will tighten up, but I'm going to go outside and get the brush guard on. 
Okay, I've got the mounts done. Um, I actually started with this bolt on both sides and it was able to swing it up so I could install these two. was able to do that by myself, no help needed. I'm going to put the uh, headlight guards on uh, shortly. Um, I've got all of these snugged up. I may go back and adjust this a little bit to get it to look the way I want, but that's it. So I led you to put this bolt in first and I was thinking I was going to be able to get my wrench in the front to hold it. No, that just did not work. So I decided to use this hole and go in and hold the top this way. So this way uh, was much easier. Um, I just had to sacrifice a wrench. Uh, you may have better ways to do it, better ideas, but this wasn't mine. I'm going to take this back off since I've gotten it tight now and put my lock washer on it and I'll have to tighten it back up one more time. Um, I just wanted to get everything matched up. I tightened up this side and this side on the long bolt. So I hope it makes sense, but um, this was the, my answer to getting into that area. And by the way, this is an 18 wrench. All right, here's a little detail about uh, what I did for this wrench. You may could do this with an offset 18. I just didn't have that. I just basically was um, cut it here and re-welded it at a little bit of an angle. You can see the measurements there. And I was able to stick that into my frame and hold. Not the best well, but we may do what we had. That's 18. And that's what you're going to need to put your frame bolts in and your bottom bolts. All right, this is my finished uh, project. Um, we'll look at it in the yard where we get a little better view. Like a bird on a tree. Uh, about, uh, about an hour, hour and a half, two, I'm maybe. To uh, get this installed. You did not have to remove anything on the bumper. Sit together, it's so beautiful.